Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, Laura Caro was born in Tijuana, Mexico. And since she was a small child, she showed a passion for singing. But as an adolescent, she decided to pursue a degree in engineering. Feeling a need for something more fulfilling, she made a choice to take her shot at her dreams. And that choice changed her life forever as she soon broke out in the inaugural season of the Mexican reality competition, La Academia. Since then, Laura has released multiple hit records, competed in the Mexican version of The Voice, and even developed into an award-winning actress. But her heart's mission is to inspire others who come from difficult family situations. And she also makes it a priority to promote the unique border town culture of her native Tijuana. And she tells us all about that and more right here on American Latino TV. My name is Laura Caro. I'm from Tijuana. Baja California, Mexico, and uh, my family uh, lives in Tijuana. They're all from Tijuana as well. The first thing that I started doing before singing was dancing. I have three sisters and uh, two of them sing as well, but I'm the only one who um, is pursuing this career. So I heard about this um, reality show in Mexico, which was uh, called La Academia, and I became one of the 14 participants of the first generation and everything started from there you know it's been a ride a very very long ride no puedo evitar que te aside from the fact that it was a TV show it was a school for me it was a musical school for me and I I learned a lot from the teachers and I learned a lot from myself ya lo confesó, tu I recorded a single, which is called Que Te Vaya Bien, which means I hope you do well. <laughs> it's kind of a bitter song, you know, the farewell song when you end up a relationship and everything around it, it's like you're very hurt and it's, everything is shattered. But at the end, you wish this person for them to have a good life, you know? It's funny because when I went to Mexico City, everybody would make fun of me for a little bit for the words because I use a lot of English words and uh, you know how to say pocha. You know, everybody was like, you're so, let us be in pocha. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's fine. You know, they would mock me or make fun of me, but not in a bad way, you know, but it's nice. It's, it's very, I think that us as border people, uh, we have um, a lot to learn and to fight for, you know, especially these times of... <laughs> I don't want to get political or anything, but yeah, it's, I think that Latinos and Hispanic people in this country are who make them really strong, you know, are the, are the core, the, the working uh, force of, our, of this country, you know. Todos dicen que es mentira que te quiero Music as, a, as, a, as an art, it comes from within because it's honest, it's sincere. You cannot be this person on stage and this other person off stage. Because one thing is to be a character and one other thing is to be, you know, completely opposite. It has to be coherent. You have to make sense. So always try to reinvent yourself, always learn, always listen to a lot of music learn languages, meet people, um, and no matter what happens, no matter a label, no matter a manager, no matter a relationship, I mean, no matter a PR, no matter your family, always, always fight and keep going, always, all the time. Con un beso enamorado, como 